Hey guys, Carl here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Shimbol TP Mini wireless monitoring system. Pretty cool, let's get into it. All right, Shimbol sent me this to demonstrate and show you how it works, to go over the fit and finish, to give you my honest opinion of this product. So first off the top is the Shimbol TP Mini setup. So this does not come with the monitor. It's just the receiver and the transmitter, uh, these, these red guys, the other ones on the camera right now. So it has the, the two of these guys, the RX and the TX, and they have HDMI out on the RX, and then they have HDMI in and out on the uh, rich seat on the transmitter side. The TP Mini is HDMI, so it runs HDMI only. There's no SDI connectors, which is fine. And this is really good to use with like your, you know, Sony A, A series cameras, or even like an FX6, FX9, anything that has HDMI still, uh, they're pretty easy to work with. In their product description, they promise to bring a lot of convenience to your productions. And I will say that in the short time I've had these, and on the couple jobs that I've used them on, they are very convenient, and they're very quick to set up. I'm, I'm still, I, I need to figure out a, a really good solution, besides this right here, of how to run this, because this, you know, doesn't look great when you're standing off to the side with like something in your hand. I would like to have, you know, this monitor with a couple handles on it or something. To have an inexpensive setup that you can take around with you and hand to somebody if you want to have them monitor what you're seeing through your viewfinder or your onboard monitor. If you don't want them watching over your back, you can just hand this to them and be like, here you go. Check out what's going on. And that is super beneficial. All right, so what comes in the box? Well, like I stated before, you get the transmitter and receiver and an HDMI cable. Uh, that's it. There's no batteries. There's no, um, maybe there's instructions in there, but that's, that's about it. That's all you really need though, because honestly, you plug these things in, you power them up, put batteries to them, and they're just working. There's, not, there's no fiddling. There's no trying to figure it out. Literally, I plugged it into this monitor that they sent me also, and I'll get into that here shorter um, uh, in the video later on, later on. But they sent me just all this, this setup, minus the power supplies and the HDMI cable. The monitor does come with one, and I'm using that on the uh, FX6 right now, hooked up. But it's, it's very easy just to like put it together and have it working, which is nice. I don't have a lot of experience with wireless monitoring, and uh, transmitter and receivers. Um, I've, I've wanted it for so long, but the price has been something that's been kind of like a hard thing for me to justify. Um, I mean, it's nice having them sent to me for free, but these are expensive, they're 89 bucks. So it's pretty easy to justify this and kind of get your feet wet in it. And now I'm thinking to myself, okay, how can I leverage this or how can I use this in a different way? Let's just talk about the actual way it looks and the way it is. So I'll unplug this real fast so you can see, so I can talk about it real quick. So this guy, you have an on and off switch on the side right here. As soon as you have that, you have green lights that flash on the side, this little strip here with some LEDs inside. Um, and as soon as that is on, you can tell that you're transmitting. Now it's giving me a one yellow, meaning that I'm not outputting anything at the moment. So once I get my so and just like that, you have yourself a wireless feed sending to your monitor, which is pretty cool. I like that. This is, it's just easy. It's very simple to, to do. They say you can go up to 500 feet away with zero latency. There's a few little things I would say are not necessarily like deal breakers for me, but things I really wish that these would have and I get it, they're 89 bucks, like you can't have everything for $89. But I really wish that these had like a battery inside of them or even were powered off of like rechargeable double A's or some, something like that. Because having to, having to use like an MPF battery is kind of annoying. Um, and you can't, you can run, you can charge them or run them off of USB. So like I have a USB-C cable running my, the one on the camera right now, this whole setup here. So I mean, it's not the end of the world, I really wish they had batteries inside of them. 
um, that were rechargeable or something like that. Maybe with a little like LED indicator on the side telling you like how long you have left. And I get it, that probably jacked the price up because you have to pay for batteries and all that kind of stuff. It just makes sense. You know, there's a lot of, there's, there's new ones that keep coming out. There's like the new DJI one that just came out. And I mean, it's, it's more money, obviously. I think it's like five something. How are those still two? So, I mean, in this realm, I get it. You have to power these things. I mean, for eight, like I said, for 89 bucks though, you can't go wrong. Like, if you just want something, if, even if you're not using it all the time, which I don't plan on using this all the time, I have several people who like to monitor while I'm shooting, and in the past, it's been like, hey, we finished, we finished one of the shots, let me watch it back. Hey, we finished one of the shots, let me watch it back. Well, now I can just hand them a monitor and be like, here you go, you can watch it the whole time. That makes it really nice and convenient, and I mean, you can't go wrong. For 89 bucks. I'll just say it one more time. Can't go wrong for 89 bucks. So Shimbol sent me this monitor as well. I think it's to be able to use this together and to show the, you know, how it works. Uh, as you can see, you can see me talking in real time right there. There's zero latency. It's pretty amazing. Uh, this monitor is, is, is good. It's a little five inch monitor. Feels like the LCD screen's a little bit cheaper. It has a, you know, has some banding in it. Um, we'll see if the banding on the big screen when I edit this video is the same way, but I don't think it will be. It, it's, it does the job. I think if you're gonna hand this to a client and you're gonna say, hey, view what I'm shooting, nobody's gonna complain about it. And you could charge for it, you know, that's the cool thing. This only, this setup right here probably cost you maybe 300 bucks, 400 bucks. I'm not sure exactly how much this monitor is. I don't think it's out yet and they haven't given me a price on it, but I'm sure it can't be more than a couple hundred bucks. Shimbal, you know, so maybe leave a comment down below and tell people how much this is, because I don't know. But it, it has, you know, has function buttons on top. It has the full gamut of, you know, focus peaking. Um, you can turn it off and on, obviously. You have, uh, you have your aspect ratios, you have a waveform, histogram, um, RGB panel, a vector scope. Uh, you can change like your, your LUT, you can put LUTs inside of it and run it that way too. I have the feed out of my camera right now showing a, um, a LUT on here, so it's already given me that. Uh, so in here they have just a standard 3D LUT and you can turn that off and on. And it actually doesn't look bad. It gives you a pretty good idea. It's like Rec. 709. It gives you a pretty good idea of like what your final image could look like. Obviously, for giving this to a client and having them view what's going on, I don't think you're going to turn any of that stuff on. But if you wanted to view this separately, you have the opportunity to do that. I really do think this is a great little setup. And like I said, I really want to build out a kit to where this can have like handles and then run off of one V-mount battery. This can be charged uh, with DCN, <clears throat> and then you have your HDMI, so we could easily make this into a, uh, a kit, you know, to be able to hand to somebody and say, you can view with this. And you can charge for that. You know, your little 89, maybe $300 purchase with the monitor, you could charge extra money to have this on set, which is a huge plus. I don't know what a rental fee on this would be. Maybe you add in like a hundred bucks for the rental fee for the day on top of your camera package or you include it in your camera package and it's just part of it and you say, oh yeah, my camera package is $600 a day. This is gonna add another $50 to that. So now, I've, now my camera package with all the things that it's listed is $650 a day. Um, and that's probably pretty inexpensive, honestly, depending on what camera package you have and kit and everything, but I digress. You may ask yourself why you would choose this over your iPhone or a monitor and control app red digital control app, something like that. Well, I would say this would be your cheapest barrier to entry to hand to a client and just let them have out viewing whatever you're shooting. That makes it kind of nice to be able to just set it, forget it, and let them do their thing instead of them over your shoulder all day kind of watching what you're trying to do. That can get pretty tedious and annoying. And yeah, I, I've had some people do that before. That's all I really have about this product. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you liked what you saw. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this or anything else. I love to have conversations with you guys on this channel. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>